Buongiorno studenti! Hello students! Come va? How is it going? I hope you are well and today I want to teach you nine different ways to say thank you in Italian that are not grazie. So let's learn everything about them, how to use them correctly, so that you can express your gratitude in the most proper way in Italian, depending on the situation. Also, I wanted to let you know that for this lesson, I prepared a, a PDF version that you can download for free uh, from a website. So just click on the link in the description. Iniziamo! Let's begin. Okay, the first one, you probably have heard this already, is grazie mille. Grazie mille literally means thanks a thousand. And it's the Italian way of saying thank you very much. So it's more emphatic than just grazie. You, can, you may just say grazie as a habit, out of a habit, not really meaning it. But if you say grazie mille, that means that you really mean it and you're expressing a deeper level of gratitude. It's like when you say thank you so much or thank you very much. Grazie mille. Okay, il prossimo, next one. Ti ringrazio. Ti ringrazio. Now, this is probably something that you may not have heard yet or you may not have noticed. And this is very nice and much deeper than the previous ones. So what's that? Literally, that means I thank you. This one does not use grazie, but uses the verb for to thank, which is ringraziare. So this literally means I thank, ringrazio, io ringrazio, you, ti, ti ringrazio. And it's a more personal way to express gratitude, often used with uh, friends and family to whom you are very uh, grateful to express that meaning. So ti ringrazio is definitely deeper than grazie or even than grazie mille. Okay, another one is grazie di cuore. This is one of my favorite ones. Grazie di cuore. And you can guess this means, this has to do with the heart. That means thanks of heart. So it's like when you say thanks from the heart, from the bottom of my heart. So these are an expression that really emphasizes sincere gratitude from your heart. It's very touching. If you tell someone grazie di cuore, you're not just saying, oh, grazie, thank you, that's it. No, you're really telling them you were very touched by their uh, action or what they told you. So this is a very nice one to know. Okay, uh, another one is ti sono grato. Ti sono grato. So this is another one that uses a verb, not just grazie. Ti sono grato literally means I am grateful to you. So the word grato means grateful in Italian. So we're learning a few related words to, a few words related to uh, saying thanks in Italian. We have learned ringraziare, which means to thank. And now we're learning grato, which means uh, grateful. So that's what it is. Ti sono grato means I am grateful to you. And it's a more formal phrase that shows genuine gratitude towards someone. What I want you to notice, this is something I repeat in every one of my video almost, is whenever it's necessary, of course. Um, since this expression uses essere, so io sono, to say, lui è, that's what we're talking about when we name essere, the verb essere, to be. Uh, the word that comes right after essere needs to change to match the gender and number of the subject. With gender and number, I mean if the subject is feminine, you will need to change that to the next word to feminine. If the, su the subject is plural, you will need to make the next, the word next, right next, after, the, sorry, right after essere, plural. So you can have multiple versions of these depending on who's saying these. For example, if I want to say that ti sono grato, I will need to say ti sono grata because I am a woman and the subject is me. Io sono grata a te. 
va bene? Uh, so you can make multiple versions of this depending on who's saying that. Let's make one more example because I want this to be real, really clear. If you want to say uh, we are grateful uh, to you, then that would be T still because it's to you. Siamo because it's we are. And how would you change that? Let's suppose I want to say that for uh, two women. So two women saying to someone we are grateful to you. Then there would be ti siamo grate, feminine plural. So remember, every word that comes after essere needs to change to match the sub. Every word that comes after essere is an adjective, and as any adjective, it needs to change, in this case, to match the subject of the sentence. Va bene? Okay, let's see a few more uh, expressions to say thank you in Italian that are not grazie. The next one. Well, not just grazie, at least. This one, in fact, is grazie infinite. Grazie infinite. This means infinite thanks. And this really indicates that grati your gratitude is boundless and profound the same way as in English. So, grazie infinite. Another one that's really good to know, because it's very much used in Italy, is non so come ringraziarti. Non so come ringraziarti. Let, let me type this. Non so come ringraziarti. So this, this literally means I don't know, non so, come, how, ringraziarti, to thank you. So here again we have the verb ringraziare, to thank. Uh, and this is an expression that we use when you feel like you you're truly in debt to someone and you really don't know how to repair their favor. So you really want to show that um, feeling and that that's perfectly done with non so come ringraziarti. Okay, another one that's always an, another way of saying uh, grazie is è stato gentile da parte tua. È stato gentile da parte tua. This means it was kind from your side, literally. So this is the equivalent of the English expression, uh, it was kind of you. We don't say literally it was kind of you, we say it was kind from your side, but it's exactly the same thing. So you want to use this when you want to acknowledge someone's kindness while also expressing your gratitude. You're also acknowledging they were very kind, gentile. Perfetto. Molto bene. Ok, uh, next one is slightly different uh, and it's another way to thank someone, more specific. It is grazie per il tuo sostegno. Oops. Grazie per il tuo sostegno. That means thanks for your support. So the word sostegno means support in Italian. And it's a way to express gratitude specifically for someone's support. Grazie per il tuo sostegno. Okay, the next one, it's very nice and touching and it's grazie per esserci sempre per me. Grazie per esserci sempre per me. And this means thanks for always be there for me. Grazie per esserci sempre per me. And this is a very nice way to express gratitude for someone who always supports you and always shows up for you. So this is a very special one. Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, nine different ways to say thank you in Italian that are not just grazie. Pick the one you prefer depending on the situation and you will be able to express your gratitude in a very natural and proper way in Italian. Uh, as always, let me know which one is your favorite one and I wait for your comment in the comment section. Also, don't forget to download your free PDF for this lesson. The link is in the description. That's all for today. Questo è tutto per oggi. I hope you enjoyed this video and 
I wish you a great day, buona giornata e a presto. Ciao da Valentina.